Hi Dreamers, welcome back. I know it's, we're like halfway through May, but I can still do April favorites, right? I just, it took me forever to decide what to include in this video. So I have mostly makeup stuff and a couple of books to share with you today. So. I'm just gonna get started and we'll start with makeup. First off, I tested out a whole bunch of stuff from the new line at Ulta by Fiona Styles, and I came up with two winners that I just absolutely have been loving this month. These were not the only products that I liked from the line, but these are kind of my standouts for April. And the first is the Luminous Finish Foundation Concentrate. I have it in the color 04. I absolutely love the finish of this. I think that it is beautiful. It really looks so flawless on my face and I just absolutely love it. And then I also am loving the Ultimate Lash Icon Volumizing Mascara. This is, I have a lot of people ask me if I'm wearing false lashes when I wear it. I really like the wand. It doesn't pick up too much extra product. I don't get spider lashes. It is what I have on my lashes right now. And if you look at my Instagram, which is at Dishwater Dreams, most of the close-ups that I've done of my eye makeup from April have been with this mascara. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's do drugstore and then we'll do high-end. So my absolute favorite drugstore products from this month, the ones that I just can't put down, the first one is this e.l.f. Contour Palette. I absolutely, absolutely love it. I use this color as a highlight. I use this color to set my under eye. I use uh, this color to sort of warm up my face, and I use this as my contour color. Six dollars absolutely love it. It looks flawless. It stays really all day. I don't start getting any kind of wearing off or patchiness or anything till about 12 hours into the day. So that's really, really good. The other thing that I just cannot put down from the drugstore are these Milani Everyday Eyes eyeshadow palettes. I do have all six of them. I probably don't use the Vivid Brights. I've only used it a couple of times because I don't really think that that palette by itself is very work appropriate for being a managing editor of a newspaper, although um, I think that in this small town people have come to expect that sort of thing from me. But my two favorites, the ones that I just continually turn to are um, this one which is Must Have Naturals, which is just absolutely beautiful. I can use just every color and make a beautiful I look and I don't have to think about it. It's effortless. Same thing with this one, which is Plum Basics. If I can get it open. And these, these really, really beautiful purple colors just absolutely cannot stand how gorgeous these colors are. So, I mean, look at the pigmentation on these. It is just absolutely fantastic. They blend like a dream. They're just they're just effortless. And another thing that I really like about these is they give you kind of a little guide on the back. So if you are a beginner or you're not really sure what to do with six eyeshadows, you can look at the guide on the back and get a really nice eye look just from following their directions or you can just completely ignore their directions and do your own thing. But I think that's really, really great for beginners. Um, okay, high-end stuff. Some of this stuff is, well, this this is really not new. Um, the Gwen Stefani uh, Blush Palette. This is not really new, it's been around for a while, but I got it for my birthday, which was in April, and ah, golly, I just absolutely love it. These colors are just, so so beautiful and they're so creamy and they blend so nicely and they stay all day and I just I just absolutely love every single thing that I have done with this palette I've used um, 
I've used this as a highlight. I've sort of mixed the blushes. I've done all sorts of things with them. And no matter what look that I do, I know that I can pull this palette out and I'm going to have a cheek color that's going to work with it. I also got the Cheekathon palette from Benefit. This is a really amazing value. I think it's $58 and you get five full-size products in here. I mean, the price of this, I think, is two, maybe three of these. So you're getting five for a really good price. You get Dandelion, um, of course, the cult favorite Hula Bronzer, Rockateur, which works for me as a blush topper or as a highlight, Dallas, which I can actually use as um, a little bit of a contour color if I want to go a little bit more shimmery that day. And of course the cult favorite Coralista. So these are absolutely beautiful. If you haven't picked this up and you've got some money to blow, I would absolutely recommend picking this up because I just love it. And I do have a full size of the Hula bronzer. That's the only thing that I've ever had from Benefit that is in this. And I've already gone through a sample size and like half of a full size of the Hula bronzer. So really really fantastic um okay the rest of eyeshadow place to put these here i'm running out of room so you know it has to be mentioned the Too faced sweet peach palette i did a look with this last week for a date night but this is just absolutely absolutely gorgeous i am so in love with these colors and the looks i can get from them just giving you kind of an idea here what these colors look like. They are so much fun and you can get some dramatic looks, you can get everyday looks, you can get natural looks. It's it's just a great all-around palette. I know a lot of people have had trouble getting a hold of it, but if you haven't been able to get one and you want one, just be patient. You will be able to get it. I don't know that it smells like peaches so much as it smells like those peach rings, the candy, but and yes, it does still make your eyes smell once you put it on. A couple of other eyeshadow palettes, and I've heard some, these are, well, these are eye and blush. Double Duty Beauty from Tarte. Um, these are available at Ulta only. Uh, this is the Sultry Star Power. And it's just really sort of nice, neutral, cool tone colors. And it does have a blush. And then this is Classic Courage, which is more of your warm, um, pinky tones. I've heard a lot of people say some, you know, negative reviews about these palettes. They are powdery. And, you know, my experience with Tarte eyeshadows is that these are more powdery. The blushes are definitely more powdery. In fact, um, the Tarte blushes that I've had before don't have any kind of powder at all. And these do have powder. However, the colors are beautiful. I think that they blend really nicely. I do have, I do struggle a little bit with the darker colors, but if you have a really good brush, you're not really gonna have an issue with that. I think that they blend out nicely. They wear nicely. These are $20 a piece, and I think that you get a lot of bang for your buck. Plus, they're just so cute. So I had to include these in a favorites because I am really enjoying them. Um, and so, let's see, I have one more makeup favorite. I got this in a subscription box. This is the Ofra Liquid Lipstick in Pasadena. I'm pretty sure that I'm going to buy a full size of this when I use up this. This is like a little half size that I got in uh, BoxyCharm, I believe. But I absolutely love this. It looks stunning. It wears well. It's comfortable. This is the second Ofra liquid lipstick that I've had, but the other one that I had was in Americana, and it's really, really orange on me and quite dark. So it's not something that I could wear on a regular everyday basis, but I can just throw this in my purse and I know that almost no matter what look that I've done, this color is going to work. Um, okay, last couple of favorites for the month. I kind of go through cycles with hobbies, things that I enjoy. I'll get stuck on one thing and I'll do that for a long time and I'll kind of ignore everything else and then I'll switch it up. Um, you know, sometimes I'm knitting, sometimes I'm cross stitching. Um, Sometimes I'm playing with makeup. I play with makeup all the time. That's not really so much a hobby as it is an obsession. But one thing that I always consistently do is read. 
and sometimes like the last month when I get into a phase where I just want to read 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 I finish things very fast and these two books I finished in one day a piece it was a weekend <laughs> um, but the first one that I finished is by JT Ellison and it's called no one knows this is a really great thriller I got this through the book of the month club which um, I will leave a link to down below it is not a points link it's not an affiliate link it's just a link directly to their website so I get nothing at all if you click on it but if you like to read I do highly recommend it you get one hardback book a month for ten dollars and this was, I didn't figure it out. And most of the time, if I'm reading a thriller or a mystery, I can pretty much figure it out. There are very few that I don't figure out, and this is one of them. So, highly recommend it. I can't really tell you a whole lot about it because I'll give it away. Um, but let's just say that there, we'll say that there's somebody who is um, missing presumed dead and you can take it from there <laughs> the other book is one that um, I got for my birthday from Ryan and this is The Life We Bury by Alan Eskins and this is a really really interesting story it is about a college student who has to write a biography and so he just goes to a retirement center and says you know hey Give me somebody to write about and what he ends up with is a man who is a vietnam veteran who was um convicted of rape and murder of a 14 year old girl and that's really all i can tell you without giving the story away but this is another thriller another one that it wasn't i didn't it wasn't quite as hard to figure out as the no one knows, but it did take me by surprise. It did keep me turning the pages. And again, I finished both of these in one day. So they're really, really fantastic reads and I highly recommend them. So thank you guys so much for watching my April favorites. I will do this again in May. And if you haven't liked this video or subscribed, I would really appreciate it if you would do so now, as well as follow me on my social media, which is all listed below. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.